Hi, I'm the Nomad Producer with StartProducingMusic.com and today I want to share a few drum production ideas I have. If I want to make my snare stronger, oftentimes I will trigger a snare sound, right? What if you add a sample of someone eating a carrot? or someone sneezing or white noise. I have a whole library of samples I made that I oftentimes use just to make unique textures and also sometimes solve problems that just adding another snare won't do. Second cool production technique can be triggering some ambient noise whenever a certain drum hits. I have this track of a morning ceremony I've met in India and it's just running in my project but gated and triggered by a bass drum. This is pretty advanced and if you find yourself lost stick around because there are more cool production ideas coming and I'll make a video soon enough explaining these things in greater depth. So the first thing I've done was to add this EQ that just cut off all the low frequencies which were mainly noise and were occupying the range of the kick. Then I just attenuated the high frequencies a bit because this made things really bright. Let's hear a before and after. Next thing I've done was Haas effect, which is a really cool psychoacoustic trick in which you delay a signal from the signal on the other side of the panorama slightly and this creates really, really wide effects. So I delayed the right signal by a thousand samples. Let's hear this. The next thing I've done was to gate the signal and I have the bass drum sidechained to the input of the gate and so when the kick hits, this signal is passing the gate. This is cool but it didn't really sound the way I wanted it and funny enough I added a compressor right after the gate which is also triggered from the bass drum and these two contradictory moves got the sound closer to where I wanted it. Finally, I just inserted a cassette emulation just to make it fit better with the aesthetics of the song. In the context of the whole drum kit, it sounds like this. A third production idea which is a bit more mix related is having an attitude fader. In my mixing template, I have four parallel processing channels. One of them is the TG by Waves. I send my drums to it, either the overheads or the room, and I have it automated whenever I want a bit more distortion or width in my mix. Energy-wise, it just delivers something else. I process it heavily and it serves me in that way when I need something a bit extreme. Distortion is king. Explore it, but do it <laughs> wisely. Last tip will be do crazy transitions that are not necessarily drum related. For an example, if you get all this organic thing flowing through the whole song and then suddenly the twist comes in, it's a very strong ear catcher. This too was pretty advanced, don't be alarmed if you find yourself confused, I'll make another video about this. So I've used FabFilter's Saturn, which is an incredibly flexible multiband distortion unit. It can decide both how many frequency ranges you affect and also which form and degree of saturation 
you introduce for each band. So in this case, I've heavily distorted the low mids. Then I assigned two LFOs. The first one is assigned to the feedback of this band, which means there will be fluctuation in the amount of times this frequency range is fed back through the same saturation process and the crossover, which will affect the range of the frequencies this affects. And the second LFO is assigned to the speed of the first LFO, which creates this fluctuating modulation. Let's hear this a bit extreme just for you to really hear what this is doing. This is really cool. I really want to note that the frequency ranges and amount and form of saturation is really source dependent and you'll need to listen to your source and do whatever will flatter it. Surprise yourself, surprise your listener. This can be done with stock plugins or pedals or in any way you can just imagine. If you have things flowing too much, break it. These are the drum production ideas I wanted to share. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to have more content. I'll see you soon. My God. Whew. It's hot.